people may dream of writing a novel, but it's harder to get around to actually doing the writing and getting it published. Well, a Target executive can now add novelists to his list of accomplishments. James Tucker's first book, Next of Can, officially launches tomorrow, and we're happy to have the author with us on Mid Morning today. James, thanks Thank for coming you. in. You're a retail executive. What made you want to write a crime novel? I just think uh, crime is a fascinating way of telling stories. Um, I have been reading crime novels for years. People, local people like Vince Flynn, as well as uh, national people like Michael Connolly. And I wanted to be part of that world and contribute to that tradition. And uh, maybe it's also I write about things that scare me. And uh, so this book, um, there's a family in a house out in the wilderness and uh, someone kills that family in a terrible way except one 10 year old boy mm -hmm. who escapes and the book is about him and about the police detective in New York City who takes him under his wing tries to protect him even invites him in to live in his home while trying to get the killer hmm. so hmm. It, you're not exactly an overnight success here e even though this is uh, the first published book you've been writing for decades now right Yes, I've been. I've had 20 years of failure <laughs> before tomorrow when the book comes out. That's, that's not how I was looking at it, but I got gotcha. you. Um, yeah, you know, it, it just uh, maybe I'm a slow learner, but I just I, it took a while to uh, improve and get better. And I've I've done some writing conferences here in Minneapolis at the Loft, as well as in uh, Tin House in Oregon and Squaw Valley and. Uh, I remember Karen J. Fowler, who wrote uh, the Jane Austen Book Club, once told me that she wasn't the best writer in her writing group, but she was the toughest, mm. meaning that she persisted even when uh, she failed. And so that's something. Because inevitably that, you're going to fail. Like that is part of taking a risk and putting yourself out there like that. Inevitably, yeah. yes. How do you balance? I mean, obviously your uh, retail career is a, a full time. Yes. That's a job that pays some bills. <laughs> that's uh, right. This may pay some bills. We'll see, right? We'll see. Uh, how, did, how did you juggle it? How did you balance it? You know, I'm very committed to my job at Target, but what In I did. In case is, they're watching. <laughs> yes. Very committed. They're always watching. Very committed. <laughs> um, but I also. Uh, you know, I write in, in the evenings and on weekends, and I often uh, work at uh, the cafe at Jerry's Foods in Edina or nice. the Edina Library. And you know, I have a, a great bakery there. Yeah, they Very do. Good. They do. I have a, I have a young children, and once my son learned that he could that my laptop had Thomas the Tank Engine on it, <laughs> it became very difficult to uh, to work at home. Very nice. All right. So, uh, 20 years in the making for this one. What's next? Are you going to turn out another book right away? Uh, yes. There's uh, there's a another book in the series that will come out in a year. Oh wow. And that one is I'm excited to continue developing uh, many of the same characters in this book. It also takes place in New York and involves uh, money laundering and high priced real estate. Awesome. Fun. Very good. All right. Thanks James. You can go to wcshow.com slash links. If you'd like to order the book next of kin is the name of the book. The author is James Tucker. Thanks for being with us. Thank you.